Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today we are going over the only charm that I picked up, I was very, very good, uh, from the new Game of Thrones collection. I actually want all of them, but couldn't afford to do that at the moment. Sometimes I have to set limits. Obviously, I have very few. Um, and I decided I wanted to use the rest of my budget for the new ornament and the new opalescent snowman charm. I will link both of those videos down below if you want a closer look. So because I was going for holiday charms, I could only get one Game of Thrones charm. That's okay. Maybe one day I'll get the whole set or a gift box or the bracelet and the Murano's and the Game of Thrones throne and Daenerys, you know, all of those things. But in the meantime, first charm I had to have was Ghost the Dire Wolf. I have six dogs myself and two of them, <laughs> Princess Khaleesi, Mother of Dragons, and Lady Numeria, Queen of the North. I know the names are not canon to Game of Thrones, but they're how I wanted to put them together for my girls. I call them Princess and Lady. Um, are Obviously, I'm a fan, obviously. I have two dogs named after Game of Thrones. Princess, there she is. Uh, she is a black and tan dapple piebald with piercing blue eyes. I will put a picture of her up on the screen. And so when I was trying to come up with a name for her, she just to me looked like a dire wolf. And I almost named her Numeria, but she's, she's not that gentle of a soul. She is my wild child. And so instead of naming her Numeria, had to name her after Khaleesi. And I didn't want to necessarily name her Khaleesi. So we went with, with the long names, with the short names. My girls are registered, so these are their registered names. Lady is her best friend. And so she got a dire wolf name to match because she is younger than Princess. And as soon as I brought Lady home, she and Princess were just thick as bees. So that's enough talk about my dogs. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get into this box. We're going to unbox Ghost the Dire Wolf. Let's do it. All right, y'all. Ready for the first look? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I love this guy. He may not be my first, first, first choice from the Game of Thrones collection as far as just prettiness of charms goes. The Muranos are stunning, but my store only had one, and what's the point in getting one Murano? Obviously, you need two. The throne is also, also stunning, but... This guy and the throne were the same price, and I almost got the throne, but I don't have anywhere specific. Look at those little paws, you guys. To put the throne, and like I was saying, I just, I connect with the dire wolf so much, I literally have two dogs named like after them, so I just had to have it. And I love, even if you don't, even if the dire wolves were not your favorite, like you cannot, you cannot deny the detailing. Look at the tufts on the back of his ears. Pandora, S925, ALE, HBO, baby. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Disney is stamped Disney and Marvel is, is stamped, but that's hilarious. Love those red eyes. I wish they were blue just because my princess has blue. Um, thank God she doesn't have red. How creepy would that be? But I'm glad they're not just silver or black. The red is still very menacing. Ghost should be a little menacing, right, y'all? And while my princess and my lady... Um, are both beautiful direwolves. They are not menacing. I'm still not 100% sure where I'm going to wear this guy. I probably will wear him on an open bangle by himself for right now with my uh, Harry Potter. 
I don't even know what all is on that bracelet anymore. Star Wars, like it's everything. Pokemon, Animal Crossing, like, <laughs> just like, I call it my entertainment bracelet. I will probably wear this above that. I've thought about putting him on my travel bracelet because if you caught the original Game of Thrones video I did, um, when I, the collection first released, I was actually in Croatia where a lot of the filming took place. So I, I do regret not buying this in Croatia, but I wanted to save my Croatian money for Croatian souvenirs. So I decided to buy this guy when I got back home. He's super cute. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and go. Let me know down below. Do you think this guy should uh, go on his own bracelet? If not, what kind of design should I put him with? I might just leave him by himself in case I get more of the Game of Thrones collection. I really want those Muranos, and I think they would go really cool on either side of him. So maybe we'll do a, a Game of Thrones mini design. They would look cool on that red leather bracelet with the Muranos. Nope, don't need more things. Okay. Bye, y'all.